Hello, and welcome back to The Independent Pianist. I'm your host, Cole Anderson, and today I'm very happy to be bringing you another one of my live performances. This is, of course, Ravel's Zigan, and the violinist on this recording is the wonderful Ava Pakiam, a wonderful 14-year-old violinist who studies at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music in the pre-college division, and I'm lucky enough to get to work with Ava quite a bit. Uh, we've been doing a lot of concerts recently, and she's really an extraordinary young musician, uh, mature beyond her years. So I'm very happy to be able to introduce her to you, my audience. Uh, certainly one of the more enjoyable collaborations I've had in, in recent years is with, is with Ava, and I'm sure she's going to be uh, very successful in the future. So it's well worth taking note of this uh, marvelous young talent. Uh, if you are curious about uh, more of Ava's activities, I have linked her website in the description box as well. Ravel's Zagan, of course, needs fairly little introduction, I suppose. It was inspired by his friendship with the Hungarian violinist Zeli Daranyi, and uh, uh, I hope I'm saying that uh, close to correctly. She was an all-around amazing violinist, did play the traditional music of Hungary and also kind of gypsy style uh, violin, but she was well known as an interpreter of the whole classical repertoire as well. Uh, famously, she had a trio with Pablo Casals at one time and also gave sonata recitals with Bela Bartok, so obviously she was highly regarded. And there are recordings of her, you can actually hear her play, and she, she's actually a marvelous artist, one of these amazing players who, for whatever reason, she's not as well documented as other violinists of the time, but well worth getting to know. And Ravel, after he, he asked her one time to play a bunch of Hungarian music, kind of gypsy-style music for him, and so after that he was inspired to write Zagan and, and dedicated it to her. And Zagan was also another one of these formal experiments that Ravel was kind of uh, well known for now. Uh, despite the fact that he was a bit of a classicist and very fastidious about the structure of his pieces and about the details, uh, he actually did try these very striking experimental forms. Uh, maybe the most famous example is something like Bolero, which is basically early minimalism. But here, of course, we have something very striking, where the entire first half of the piece is a violin solo cadenza, and then the piano only enters about halfway through. A lot of people were not aware of the fact that this originally, Ravel did not conceive of this for the piano originally. He actually uh, wrote it with a, a modification to the piano in mind. It's a piano luteal. Uh, I have not actually been able to see one of these in person or play on one of them. They're extremely rare, although they had been restored. Uh, they were kind of a fad at that time, and it died out very, very quickly. But apparently it was a, a modification that could be added to the piano, and it gave you various stops that you could use, almost like a harpsichord, where you could alter the tone to resemble the cymbalum or the harp or what have you. And I have heard a couple recordings uh, that are actually done on a piano with, with a luteal modification, and I have to say, it is in my opinion, vastly superior. You can very clearly hear now various passages that Ravel obviously had the cymbalum in mind. And the cymbalum, of course, is this instrument that Hungarian musicians and gypsy musicians use very often. A stringed instrument, a chordophone, which is struck with mallets. And as soon as you hear it, you'll recognize it. It's a very distinctive kind of sound. So unfortunately, I just had to use the uh, piano original version here because I didn't have a luteal attachment, but it's on my bucket list. Someday I'd like to play this piece on a, on a piano with a luteal attachment, so maybe that'll happen sometime. Other than that, there's not much to be said about the piece. Uh, I had a great time playing it and preparing it with Ava. She actually absolutely plays the socks off this piece, so I think you'll enjoy hearing Ravel's Zagan. So this was a live performance that we did at the beginning of March at the San Francisco Conservatory. This is in Sol Joseph Recital Hall. So please enjoy, and until next time, take care, keep practicing, and stay safe out there. <laughs>